Hi everyone, welcome to another Open With Me. It's Tracy and um, in this particular uh, episode of Open With Me, we have, it's a knit now, but the first thing I noticed was the, f- the thing on the front cover was crocheted. So there is some crochet it contained in this one, but it boasts to be the biggest issue ever and I don't dispute that because look how thick this is now there's a couple of books in there um this one is called crafts for christmas and there is crochet in this as well there's also paper craft sewing knitting quilting and more and in this one it's called essential knits now i don't know if there's any crochet in this particular one but there is um also knitmas so there's loads and loads in this particular bumper pack it's massive it's the 10th birthday special. So there's treats worth £105, apparently. 135 patterns. Zandra Rhodes Creation, cover star. Um, free Knit Pro Needle set. Win 15 miles of yarn. Wow 20% of Debbie Bliss. And two pattern books with essential knits and knitmas. And official Clangers pattern. Now... Let's get in, shall we? Where do we start? Indeed, I don't know. There's so much to... Just going to break it open and um, get them all out and then we'll hopefully know where to start. Oh, my goodness. It's actually tougher than me. So while you're waiting for me to take this off, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be informed when new videos pop up. So we got one out, or even two. Now the big one. It is really tough, I have to say, this um, plastic. You need a bit of brute force. So here we go. We're in. Right, wow. We're nearly in. There we go. Phew! So there we've got one, two, three, and four. Okay, so we'll start with Knit Now, I think. We'll start with the main uh, magazine and we'll then we'll go to Crafts for Christmas because I know they have crochet in. And um, I'm not sure about the others. My normal crochet in uh, subscribers can actually leave at that point if they want to, or they can stick with it and see, which would be great if they did, but I understand if they don't want to. So what we've got in this is Join the Party, packed with creative knits just for you, festive makes, 132 pages of pattern inspiration, step-by-steps, perfect patterns and advice of on the experts. Spills the beans on knitting fashionably and having fun with yarn at any age. I still think that looks crocheted. What do you think? Looks crocheted to me, possibly. Uh, Christmas treats and 15 miles of yarn with Knit Pro needles, 20% off luxury yarn. And there's garments from sizes 6 to 36. That's UK sizing, of course. Um, Expert guide to lace. Meet Debbie Bliss and knit your dreams Christmas jumper. So let's get in. We'll skip the welcome. And this is what we have in the magazine. So, rainbow texture scarf. Modelled by Zandra Rhodes. Still doesn't tell me if it's crocheted or not. Well, I guess we'll have to see. It did look it, but I tell you what, I'm already kind of enamoured by the sparkly, <laughs> the sparkly pillow. I do love a bit of sparkle. I'm kind of magpie in that respect. If it's shiny, I'm there. So we've got some little Christmas ornaments. Um, now I guess these are knitted. They, I don't know if there's any crochet ones there. But Crystal from Bagaday is asking people to make her some Christmas ornaments for her new tree in her new house. So that anybody who fancies having a go at those can. Um, we've got page 23 is where this scarf is. So we shall see. Um, we've got, oh, that looks nice. Starcraft charm lace weight yarn. That's beautiful. Look at the way that makes up. That's very thin weight. Okay. We never used to call it lace weight in this country. It used to be called um, three ply. But we're getting the terminology from across the pond. So this is the meet the team bit, which I never bothered reading any of that. What's new? Page 23 for Zandra's pattern. 
Um, pom-pom makers. Some of them hurt my hands, I have to say. And I did have this one and I could never figure out what you're meant to do with it. Um, I only had one. The pack came with just one disc. Couldn't figure it out. I don't even think I've got it anymore. I think I threw it away. Um, that's the un an unusual pom-pom maker I've not seen before. These are the usual type, but I always scratch my hands. I recently made a project that I wanted to make loads of pom-poms for, and I've got one in mind that I really, really do want to make a whole blanket of, um, and, you know, they hurt so much. But we'll see. So we've got Ask the Expert. So these are questions that people have sent in if they want to find out how to do things. And we've got front and back cables there. Um, so all the little queries. The bookshelf, so they've got some reviewing some books. Blanket and throws to knit. Seems strange looking at this and it's all knit. But I do knit, so I like to keep abreast of it. Now that's nice. Autumn Chunky by King Cole. I've recently received pattern books from King Cole because um, unless you're new to my channel, I'm starting up my own business over on the channel called Hobby Rocks. Um, where I'll be selling hobby products. Mostly at the beginning, it will be yarn or yarn related. And I've received some pattern books. I didn't see that one. Maybe I didn't look closely enough. I'll have to have another look. I really like this little hat. That's cute. And there's a cat one as well. Look at that. And a dinosaur. Those are adorable. But they're not patterns in here. So this is the Atomic Jumper, as you can see pictures of well moons I don't know what that's meant to be so here we got the Zondra Rhodes making a statement possibly is knitted actually looking at it now I may have misled everybody I do apologize but she's got quite a lot of accessories here one thing that comes to my mind she's got her own yarns look at that Zondra Rhodes yarns that's quite intriguing, but it does look suspiciously like the yarn that I've recently purchased in Poundland. Although this is pinker, which is obvious really for Zandra Rhodes is very pink. But, wow, branching out into knitting. And these are all the things that she has designed or made. So here we go, the rainbow scarf. Um, bring a little bit of Zandra Rhodes into your winter wardrobe with this fun Stripey scarf designed in collaboration with West Yorkshire Spinners. So maybe it's not her yarn, it's West Yorkshire Spinners yarn with her name on it. And it is knitted, I'm sorry. It is actually knitted, but it does look like a crochet stitch. It really does. And look, how to crochet the larks. Larks here, not. So why are we seeing crochet at the bottom of this? if it's not crocheted. But the stitch pattern is knitted. But I guess if you wanted to crochet it, you could. Well, that's that's May. That's sort of really kind of thrown me. Fold two lengths of yarn strands in half. Pass through the folded through the long. Great loop. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. That's thrown me. Now that is pretty. The Twilight Sparkle Cardigan. That's really nice for a little girl. I like that. That's nice yarn. What's we got here? Um, knitting Idea Compact. Baby Dream, DK. Baby Dream. I don't know. There we have the Zandra Rose from West Yorkshire Spinners. So that explains it. It's her little range. But I have to say, this one here, very similar to what's in Poundland at the moment. So how, how up there are Poundland with the designs of today? If they have the same as Zondra Rhodes. L Lyric socks. Okay, knit some socks. I always when people ask me what I'm doing and it's obvious. You know, when, when you're kind of reading a book and someone says, what are you doing? I used to say, I'm knitting a pair of socks. Because I obviously wasn't. That was my saying, but. I don't seem to say it anymore. This is part six of the nymph shawlette. So that's pretty. 
never knitted a shawl. I've crocheted many, even when I was young, but never knitted. The socks or shawl, make socks on this side with the same yarn. That is beautiful though, isn't it? Look at that. How delicate is that? Amazing lace. But we've not got the, um, not got the pattern for that though, unfortunately. But this is the sparkly patchwork cushion. And I'm not sure if the, the yarn just makes it look sparkly, but I'm sorry, I'd have to make that a sparkly yarn. <laughs> I would. I'd have to find some really sparkly, yummy yarn for that. That's nice. I like it. Simple, it's just stocking stitch, but I like that a lot. That's really nice. So this is Debbie Bliss. That's what she looks like. Wow. Ten years ago, we interviewed Debbie Bliss for our first ever issue. We caught up with her to find out some of the things she's been doing in the last decade. It's quite a read then. We've got some cabling, cable sweater. My mum used to make them all the time, but she would never make one for me. But then again, I wasn't a sweater kind of girl. I was not the sort of person who enjoyed being hot at all. Got lots of charts. Durable yarn, durable glam, sparkly. And that looks thicker than a DK to me. That's an actual yarn company. Uh, nominate and win. And here we've got some... Wendy Walls. Now, we'll be stocking Wendy Walls and Peter Pan and the like. So this is the Fiesta Swing Sweater, and that is quite nice, but I'm not keen on arms that come out like that. I, I can't do that sort of arm. But if I was to make it, I would possibly do a three-quarter length sleeve and not flare that bit out. So stop before we got to that bit. Woolcraft DK 100 gram, 15% discount. When purchased, the winter morning throw. That looks a bit of a monotonous pattern because it just repeats and repeats and repeats. Something to do while you watch TV, perhaps. Oh, wow, now that's cute. This is the Clangers, the Clangers sweater. Now, some time ago, my son and Gemma wanted me to make a Clangers sweater for Tyler. But they wanted, well, not a sweater, they wanted me to make him a Sky Moo, which is a character out of the Clangers. But you never see a pattern for Sky Moos. But my nickname from Mike was Granny Clanger because she's always knitting the Granny Clanger. So over on Instagram, and interestingly, my name is Granny Clanger at Crochet Rocks. Tried to put both in. But we've got a chart, which is great if you want to use it to crochet something. Or do a cross stitch. So this is quite nice. Free Knit Pro needles when you subscribe to Knit Now, though. They're really nice. Worth £70. So um, that might be one considering, worth considering, just to get those. You never, yeah, never know. Might be, you might be seeing me do these more often. So this is of Night and Light Vest. Not really a vest. We would call those a tank top where I come from. Wow, very busy though. Very busy design. What we got now? The Sonati cable sweater. Sonati. That looks lovely, doesn't it? It looks very like I'd be too hot though. So I'm not very good with them um, cables or sweaters of any kind. Christmas jumpers, yes, I've been known to wear. As long as they're thin, as long as they're thin, then I'm okay can't do them if I don't really like this kind of Christmas sweater but yeah this one sparkly nose that's up my street so we've got a nativity how to make a little nativity that's quite cute what else have we got more adverts Christmas crackers talking about yarns all the different yarns this is the West Yorkshire spinners one sometimes I find them a little rough I have to say when I've Picked them up in the hobby craft and had a little feel. That is a very cute cable jumper for a little child. That would look absolutely lovely on my little boys. I don't find that girly at all. I find that sort of more of a boys thing. Not delicate enough for girly. 
in my opinion anyway, not in everybody's. Festive gifts make someone's Christmas with these fabulous festive ideas. So I guess it tells you how to get to them. That's quite nice. I like that. That would tell you how to make that on the www dot bits attached to these. You know, advert for the wool warehouse. It must be doing very well to get a full page every time I open a magazine. Frosty the penguin's hat. That's quite sweet, and he's got gloves. Look, little penguin. I guess that might be the gloves on that page, perhaps. Your knitting community. So we've got more of those yarns. They're really pushing those, aren't they? And then the free Knit Pro gift when you send off. This is the Celestial sweater. Not long enough for me. I'd have to make it long if I were making it. They're not bad. I would wear something that looked like that, I have to say. Nice V-neck. But I wouldn't wear it all the time. And if I did wear it, I wouldn't wear a coat that day. I cannot I could do that. I just can't. So here are, here are the little Christmas decorations. And they are cute. They are. Especially the little Santa. He is very cute. Very cute. So we, those should go over quite a few pages. And we're nearly at the end of this one. Black Isle Wools. Or yarns, should I say. Oh, this is the Cassiopeia shawl. I have no idea how to say that. Cassiopeia. But look at this. It's a very strange kind of design, but nevertheless, quite nice. Topaz jumper. Bear with me, guys. I'm getting a parcel. Sorry about that. It was Gary that actually got a parcel. It's that time of year when lots of things arrive. So this is a new pattern from Rowan. I always find Rowan yarns very, very expensive, but you could substitute it if you wanted to make it different. That's nice. I like this. This looks kind of thin, like a, a, a pullover that I'd wear. It's got three quarter length sleeves. This would have to be a lot longer. Cover my tongue. But that's nice. I quite like that. That is the kind of knitwear that I would wear. I do like that a lot. I don't know how they managed to do this. It looks like... um. Just a sewing running stitch going through it, but obviously it's not. This must be how you carry the yarn some way. Perhaps so. One day I'll stretch myself and do it. Win 15 miles of yarn. Enter online. December headband. I like it. That's nice. Ear warmer. Not bad at all. Never thought of knitting one of those. I've only ever thought of crocheting. I don't know why. So this is all the knitting essential skills and abbreviations and such like. Now, this is the next one. <gasps> that is really nice. I like that. Kind of reminds me of crochet again. We've got some Pusheen toys. Now, this was in the latest edition of um, the crochet magazine, but they were crocheted. How strange is that? Okay, so we're at the end of... Oh, look at that. Isn't that adorable? We're at the end of that particular magazine. So that's one down. So many more to go. So this is the Crafts for Christmas. Paper craft, sewing, knitting, crochet, quilting and more. So lots in this one. Let's hope they go into detail of how to make it and not run into the trap that Molly makes of just showing you stuff and where you can get it. Um, I had a, I forgot to mention that I did send off to them and said, look, I'm sure my Molly Make should have finished, so I don't want to renew my subscription. So they've refunded me, thank goodness for that. So that's cool. So we've got the contents here, and we, did they start on the other page? No, it's just a hello. Um, just that the number in systems all wrong. So it starts with six. But whether that's page number. We've got lots to make. So we won't dwell too long on that page. But that, oh, isn't that cute? I do love this. But I don't know where his head is at. His top of his head is at. I think it just goes in this pattern. Whereas the rest is plain. 
His arms are in the way to see that, really. But that is Gnomely Me Sweater. That is not... I like this bit, though. That's very cool. So that's the charts. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's the picture. So you can see now the top is the hat. So I like it. That's cute. That is pretty. So Christmas jewels. We're focusing our attention on festive colour schemes with this fabulous collection of jewel tone designs. Okay. Pretty, pretty. So this is all, all kinds of... Um, Crafts. This is the paper craft. Go full circle. So we're going to be making a bag. Make a statement in gold leatherette with this fun shape and decorative tassel. Are we going to make the tassel or the bag? Just the tassel? Maybe their tassel. Sleigh bells ring. What's this one? This is lettering. Wow. I'd quite like to learn that. I have to say. I would. And we've got some crochet. Shaun the Sheep, the flight before Christmas. I like Shaun the Sheep. It's a shame that he is across the staples because that you'd be able to see that an awful lot better. But I like the fact that he's got a little paper chain in his hand made out of crochet. Wow, it's so cute. Oh, there he is. That's what he looks like. And that's what he looks like from behind. So that's Shaun the Sheep. My son Paul loves Wallace and Gromit. Brown paper packages. So this is their idea of a paper kind of advent calendar, just making it into like a, a string along, which is quite nice, quite a good idea. Quilty Christmas stockings. So if you want to make one out of quilting, you can. Of course, you can put um, initials on and all sorts. I've never done any quilting. Not to say that I won't one day. Simply Sewing Magazine or Love Sewing Magazine. I've not seen that one before advert for that so this one's sewing sewing starry christmas cards you need some time on your hands to do stuff like that wouldn't you and this one is sewing as well and it's the top marks blouse nice simple design but that's that's okay see that's my that's my kind of style three quarter length sleeves hide the tummy it's a winner it's a winner these are free Christmas sewing patterns from Inspiration. Just go to Craft World. <clears throat> Season Sparkle. Seasonal Sparkle, should I say. This is Paper Craft again. Quite a lot of Paper Craft in this magazine so far. So we've got some knitting. That's nice. This is a hat and blanket set. But if the chart's in there, and it is, you can crochet it if you want to. That's what I'd like to see. But there is a picture of it being used. Pretty cute. That's a wrap. So we've got lettering again. Quite stylish and nice if you want to learn how to do that. So we've got Simply Cards and Paper Craft if you want to subscribe. Um, on trend paper craft goodies worth up to £20 with every issue. If you fancy it. So we've got some... Christmas hanging audience that are ornaments that are crocheted. Breaking these teeth in for someone else. But as I said earlier, Crystal from Bag of Day would like some Christmas decorations for her tree. So that might be one to make. Little houses. Cracking Christmas. Again, got some paper craft, but making Christmas crackers. Not sure we'll bother with Christmas crackers this year. It's just me and Gary, I think, so there's no point. <clears throat> Hoppity, z zippity socks, obviously knitted, but they look like pixie socks, don't they? Quite cute. And quite a few uh, pages of instructions on how to make socks. So this is sewing again, and that's nice. I like that. That's my kind of sweatshirt, I have to say. Quite like that. As long as it's not too thick, it'll be fine. It's the only type I wear thin ones so here we have some bacon perfect preserves and christmas chutney and christmas jam so we'll be making these that was an unexpected little, um, little part in there 
So this is crocheted and this is the Norway spruce blanket and I have to say that's quite nice. Very busy but not overly annoying. Sometimes when they're busy I don't like them but I quite like the way that this repeats in a different colour. I like that. I really do. So that's nice. Nice crochet blanket and it shows you how to do the kind of overlay, the mosaic. And there's the chart, if you follow charts. Stained glass quilting. That looks really cool. Maybe one day I'll get a sewing machine. We'll see. And that's how to make a poinsettia quilt. That's, I like that. I do. You get those like little things at the bottom of the bed in hotels. That's kind of cute. Nice. I like it. A new box, a new designer. What are we looking at here? Paper Craft Society. Really? <laughs> oh my word, another one. Festive Reef, Paper Craft. That's quite nice. Wouldn't go on an outside door though, would it? <laughs> Just fall to pieces in the rain. So we've got Shaun the Sheep, The Flight Before Christmas, the official knitting pattern this time. So the same pattern as before, or the same toy, but knitted rather than crocheted. That's quite good. And we've got embroidery here. We've got some blooming marvellous embroidery. Quite detailed instructions on all these things, how to do them. Um, I don't show those anymore because um, people who run the magazines would like me not to show the, the actual patterns. But that, I have the yarn to make that. That is nice. I like that. It's like a Christmas present bowed cushion. And that is crocheted. But I'm not sure what the yarn have they used. Because you can use any of these. This is Cuddly Cloud yarn from Bernat. But any of those chenilles that you've got knocking around you can use those dip pen calligraphy now i would like to learn how to do calligraphy because they they just look so beautiful doesn't it a lady i used to work with used to have the most amazing handwriting because she put in a little bit of calligraphy in her normal handwriting it was just beautiful really lovely so this is inspiration paper craft that's quite unusual. Little rolls. Some of these paper crafts are really nice. Look at that. And this one. Again, another little roll. It looks like it's made with straws. I like that. It's nice. And one with buttons. I don't think I'll be doing that one, though. And this. Look. Little sparkly dots. Like, very easy to do. Amazing ideas. So, red alert. We've got another sewing, but this is kind of a velour or velvet kind of jacket. Very nice. Luxe velvet jacket. Detailed instructions on how to do it. Free Christmas knitting patterns. If you go to Craft World. And this is crochet. Now, that's nice. The sugar plum stocking. I like that. I like this stitch. I'm going to have to go and have a go at that. Definitely going to have a go at that. That's nice. Maybe not make the stocking, but I want to make that stitch. That is really chunky, isn't it? I like it a lot. So we've got Crochet Now advert. And cute as a button. What is this? These fabulous button-shaped biscuits are perfect for giving us gifts. Tie them with a ribbon and hand them over to your friends and family. They're nice. And it tells you how to make those at the bottom. They look like a shortcake, really. That's what it looked like. A shortcake. A shortbread, whatever you want to call it. So we've got sewing again with Scarlet Fever. How to make this lovely skirt. That's not too flared. If you're going to make an A-line skirt, as long as it's not too wide, I'm okay with it. It's because I've got thin legs. I know my legs don't match the rest of me and they're quite slim. So if I ever have anything like that, it just makes me look like a bell, which is a bit silly. When I get in proportion, it's not too bad, but, you know. So here we've got the free Christmas crochet patterns. 
That's kind of cute. My son Paul loves a penguin, so that would be great for Harley, his son. And we've got, um, I think we had this in one of the magazines before, like a crocheted Granny Square Christmas stocking. And sooty. Oh my goodness, that reminds me of my childhood. And we've got some tree, Christmas trees. What have we got here now then? Upcycling. All right, okay. So this is how to make your old jars have a new lease of life. Some of these like kilner type jars. But the penguin one, that's so cute. You know, the other day I was shopping with my other half, Gary, and we saw some really cute jars. So you can just make them yourself. So this one is sewing. It's the first Noel and you can make this lovely banner for Christmas. And um, we've got more paper craft. Oh, that's nice. I'm not sure I like the reef though, but mm, into paper folding. A slice of Christmas. What have we got now? This is lettering again. I like this magazine. Considering it's a freebie, it's got loads in it. And here we've got a Christmas bauble again. If you're looking for something to make um, for crystal, this would be a perfect one, wouldn't it? Now, it's got a sloth on it. <laughs> Sloths are really in, aren't they now? But it's a Christmas bauble with a hanging sloth. That's actually pretty cute. I like that. And we've got more paper craft. Now this one's quite an inspiration for me because I used to love, absolutely love wrapping Christmas presents. And I've gone off it in a big way this last few years. And if I can, you know, it's a chore. So I need something to bring it back to being a beautiful art form again that I really take pride in. But I think it's a fact I've got so many to wrap that puts me off. I used to do it gradually and just, but doesn't it just make a present um now gary's brother martin he his they're separated now but his wife mickey she's german and um i don't know if it's because she's just very sort of style orientated or if because of her roots but when she wraps a christmas present she would all always put really nice things on it um things you wouldn't think of that just dangle off and um it always made that present super special so might have to give it a go this year. I did buy some bows, especially like silver ones. They were for Christmas trees, but I figured, no, they're just bows. They're going on my parcels, on the adult ones anyway. So I will try. I will try and up my game with my wrapping. I don't know how long it'll last. Probably about four presents in. It will all go by the wayside. Mrs. Claus, the plum pudding. So that's a nice one. Look at that. That is cute. It's got a little plum pudding. Which, you know, we just call Christmas pudding. We don't call it plum. Well, I don't know anyone that does anyway. And we've got creative stamping. Wow. A whole magazine about stamps now. And that's obviously not philately. Oh, didn't bet you didn't know I knew that word. When I say that, I mean um, stamp collecting. It's all about stamping. So this is how to make candy canes. Wow, make your own candy canes. Got the recipe and how to do it. Wow. In a way, it's basically what we call rock. You know, when we go to the seaside, we get rocks. And not to be confused with those things you pick up at the seaside that are like made out of stone. But candy canes are made out of rock for us. So this is papercraft again. Budget Beauties. So it shows you how to make these things, I guess, on a budget. What we've got now is a cross stitch. Let it snow. And some of these are tiny. Look at that. It's kind of sweet. It doesn't have to be big to be beautiful, does it? So we've got a quilted Christmas tree and there's the pattern there. It's pretty snazzy. Take one sketch. So we've got paper crafting again. There's a lot of paper crafting in this magazine, I have to say. But that's the end. So I am actually quite impressed with some of the things in there. I like that one. Lots more in the way of kind of crocheting and stuff like that. So let's have a look at essential knits. So my crochet is if I do understand if you want to leave me at this point, 
because I don't believe that knitmas or essential knits will have any crochet in in them but obviously if you do stick with me I appreciate it no end no end so here we've got the West Yorkshire spinners yarn but it's got tinsel in it well some glitz tends to there's a four ply though so that's quite thin for for a winter make um four ply is sport weight across the pond i know they're starting to call our three ply lace weight but we've not taken up sport weight which is weird i dare say it will come so it looks like we've got some little piggies to make and some sweaters let's have a look shall we there's all of the makes wow there's quite a lot in this uh knitting news and yarn to read about show your stripes now oh that's quite sweet quite often you get lots and lots of what's the word patterns in these books that are very girly but that's a nice little boys one that's cute i like that i'm gonna see them i always think right i'm gonna make that and i never do never do there's that really lovely picture again velvety yarn and this one is a cowl. I like to call this kind of cowl a neck warmer. This one's a cowl, it hangs away. But when it's nice and tight like that, I like to call it a neck warmer. But these are made with chunky. They're nice. I like them. Mum's the word. Cute matching mother and daughter knits. A little bit of cabling going on in that one. And at the back. And there's the one for the child. Free Christmas sewing patterns at Craft World. Lots and lots of freebies at Craft World. The Three Little Pigs. Now, they are sweet, aren't they? They're cute. I like them. Hello, Sailor. Lots of boy stuff so far, isn't there? A little... But, you know, it's winter. You don't really want to get your knees out. Unless, of course, it's a d like weather like today. It's quite mild. And that is so adorable, though. Oh, I like that. Free knitting and crochet books worth over fourteen ninety nine in Craft World. Your guide to swatching. Your guide to swatching. So it's kind of making your tension swatches. Make sure they fit. So this is the Athra sweater, named after the Irish word for repetition. It's quite nice. There's a the sweater, there's the back. So we've got Rukan, Rukan set. So we've got a hat and fingerless mitts. And we've got some here as well. His and hers. Take a bow. Or take a bow. And that's nice. Quite a simple thing to make. Pajama party. Making pajama cases. Oh my god, aren't they cute? Look. Let's move up. Don't want to knock my phone off the table there. Look at those just adorable pajama cases oh wow they they are so so sweet i like them and then we've got a couple of charts which i like to see so if you wanted to utilize them for other things you can oh wow fairy tale castle jumper that is sweet as well reminds me of brighton pavilion it's very cute very cute indeed there's the chart for it if you want to make it for something else so we've got how to um join knit now today and get your fabulous needles i'm very tempted so how to pay 18.99 every three months or 75.99 for 13 issues i'm a bit tempted to get that just to get those needles because you know i buy the odd pair of needles and i'm never really pleased with them but you get all this and the only thing that puts me off is the points. I'm a, a dull point knitter. I come from an era where my mum had Millwood bog standard needles and they had a dull point, not these long, sharp points, which, you know, I don't know if I'll get on with them, but I'd like to know, I'd like to find out. So this is a nice hat. I like that. I might make that, you know, quite like that. We'll see. What's this? The... Oh, what's it called? <laughs> Leo Brooks cardigan. It's got a little collar. Nice. It's actually got a nice plain back as well. 
Wow, watermelon wedge blanket. <laughs> That's quite cute, isn't it? You can sort of sit in it. Like get in like a sleeping bag. Like a snuggle sack. <laughs> I like it. Just peachy at paint box and all the peachy kind of yarns from various places. We've got paint box, marinette, Rico, Rowan and West Yorkshire spinners. All the peachy colours. Top five characters to knit. Oh, wow. Dougal from the Magic Roundabout. That takes me back a bit, guys. So here we've got some of the clangers. I don't know if there's a sky moo amongst this. I tend to think of him as a slightly big grey thing. These mostly are from my childhood. Sooty Sweep and Sue. And Dougal, the clangers. And this is the only newer one. But obviously a lot of these have had revivals. Especially um, Bagpuss and the clangers. Come back from the, the dark ages of my youth. Stripes for socks. Oh, they've even got little tiny ones. Look at that cute. Oh, how cute are they? So I've never knitted a sock, but you know what? That might be one to start with. <laughs> the serene shawl, if you fancy that. I guess it's just plain and the, the sort of pattern really comes within the yarn itself. So that's quite pretty. Now that's nice. Forget me not cardigan. It's a baby cardi, but if it was an adult, that's definitely my kind of sleeve. That's nice, though. I like that. Pretty. Two hoots with owls on, obviously. And there's the um, hooty owl charts, if you want to use the for anything else. Rapunzel twists pullover. So obviously, obviously cables, but nice and thin. See, that's the only kind of cables that I could really wear if it was thin and um, not thick and chunky. I'm not really a thick, chunky sweater kind of person. So keeping your... Your guide to keeping your count. Okay, nice how-to bits. Mug cosies are sweet. Bit of a fair isle thing going on there. The French mouse. That's quite sweet too. Tapsu scarf. Where did they get these names from? Ah, uh, Uzi's Nordic charm. Okay, so Tapsu, fabulous fringe scarf, is named after the Finnish word for tassel, because it's got some pretty hench tassels on it. Nice though, nice scarf. Nice close up of said tassels. So we've got the bittern pullover. The bittern. And that's kind of the vibe going on. Nice um, hexagon cushion. Advert for crochet now. And we've got the, oh God, here we go again. Inagua cover up. Named for an exotic holiday spot. Not that I've ever heard of it. Inagua. Inagua? Oh. I don't know. I've never been there anyway. Sounds like a, a Nicaraguan word, doesn't it? Gragua. 60s scrap bangles. Wow. Something to do with your scrap yarn. You could easily do crochet bangles. Bangle, bangle. And the hayfield jumper. One for everyone in the family. And then after the instructions, we've got the knowledge bit. And after this part, you're normally finished with the magazine, aren't you? But I've got another one. Heavens to Betsy, it's going to be a long one, isn't it? So we've got stockist guides, we've got abbreviations, free Christmas knitting patterns, if you go to Craft World. There we go. So that one is a bit in the dust. That's number three gone. So this one's very small. This one's small. But it's Christmas. Knitmas. Gifts for the ones you love. 36 festive mates you'll love to knit. I quite like the look of this one. Let's have a little look inside. Straight away, you've got a scrap packing, a scrapbook page you can use. I think they really designed it for that. Hot water bottle cover. I have a crocheted hot water bottle cover, but I'm going to be making another one soon. And we've got a little reindeer, or whatever that is. Not a donkey. It's 
be honest with you. But something hanging on the tree. I can then always, you know, decipher what these things are. Let's have a look. 21. It's Dala horse ornament. It's a horse. Very festive. So, yeah, we've got lots of, like, a pullover. A Wallace and Gromit is dressed up as Santa. Pretty little girly dress. A blanket. Some nice hats. We've got the cushion with a big bow on, which uh, I like the other one better, I have to say. We've got a kind of a very snazzy stocking to make. And some mittens, advent mittens. Again, you can just hang that up and put the gifts in. So this is the Wallace and Gromit jumper in the details on how to make it. Quite nice. And the chart. Always a good thing to have the chart. Christmas bow cushion, if you wanted to make that one. And the fairy leaves dress. Now, I do like that. That is really nice. That's a pretty dress. Family hats. The only thing I don't like is the fact that the uh, ribbon is open. I like a nice tight rib. That's the only thing I'll say. So this is the hot water bottle cover and the Christmas ornament. And this is the Folkways Christmas stocking. It does remind you of an old fashioned kind of Fair Isle type thing. Now this one, Christmas pudding dishcloth. And that, that's quite snazzy. I quite like that. And the Advent mini mittens, again, I like those. That's, that's pretty cool. Your tidy oak sweater. Oh, look. We've got some free labels, but it's very really thin paper. You can't imagine it lasting, can you? But some Christmas labels for free. And then we've got the abbreviations. And that's it. So that's all four of my magazines. What do you think, guys? Are you happy with that? There's some nice stuff in there. Tell me what you like best. Not enough crochet, I guess, in the grand scheme of things but they were knitting magazines and we were quite lucky to get quite a few crochet uh, patterns in the multi-craft book so I like it anyway I like all of them I have to say there's something out of every single one of those that I would wear or would make and kind of like at least more than one thing anyway so thank you for watching for this very very epic open with me Hope you've enjoyed it. Tell me what you enjoyed most. And as I said before, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.